So welcome to episode six of Shell Shock Two. Uh, with me today is uh, you may not see this one coming. Uh, Psycho Serum. Yeah. Yeah, gonna, I'm here. I'm yeah. here. We're gonna we're gonna try to uh, you know get through this with one another, but uh, no problem. We're gonna try and get along. You know, put our differences aside for the sake of this LP. You know, for 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 the benefit of the LP, because you're a fan of this game, obviously. Oh yeah. And I said some mean things about it, so we're <laughs> gonna see if we can work out our differences and you know make make an LP, make, you know LP gold. Yeah, I'll, I'll as we go along, I'll I'll try and explain why this game is good and why you're an idiot for not liking it. And well, uh, I'll explain why it's shit and why you're an idiot for liking it. So here's some needless swearing on the title screen, as uh, has every title screen so far has displayed. Because the writers of this game are children. Well, yeah, ch children are cheap. That's the only way they could get this out on top. They figured it would be better to, you know, have some needless swearing than to disappoint the fans. Right. Like we've already heard the word "fucking" five times so far in these ten seconds. It's... Yeah, that's that's a lot of fucking. You you telling me you object to lots of fucking? Well, I'm, I'm not saying that, because I, I've, I've had plenty of fucking, but I'm just, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, I, I get it, it's Vietnam, you don't have to, uh, you get it, people curse the soldiers, they weren't exactly, you know, uh, greatest Samaritans of the world. Samaritans, they were not nice people, you can say it. So it's a rather accurate portrayal. You still buy by land? Griffin. Right, accurate material with all the uh, with all the zombies. Yeah, you know, accurate rule of Vietnam War, uh, the zombie panic. You know, this is the real adventures of Vietnam. Shell shock too. What's real? Yeah, the zombies are a metaphor. Metaphor, a metaphor for what? A for man's inhumanity to man. Yeah, you heard me. Um, see, when I say man's inhumanity to man, I mean. The, All right, your family. The, uh, I'll get back to you on this one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right, right. So anyway, we're into the level now, and, uh, you know, the game just loves starting you off with no weapons when you start levels, for no reason other than to say, hey, hey, what are you going to do without your gun? Huh? Huh? Yeah, here's a knife. How are you going to get along with just a knife? Oh, wait, there's a machine gun right over there. Like, literally, ten feet away, I don't know why we couldn't start with this. Oh, that's right, they it, need to needlessly drum up the tension. Even if it was released for five fucking seconds. It's the greatest FPS relation. Yeah. Every fucking FPS since Doom has started to off with a shitty weapon. Yeah, anyone playing, was, those, was anyone playing those FPSs, all they've wanted is to find a decent weapon. So finding one ten seconds later is defying their expectations of playing through the opening levels with some shit weapon. Yeah, but the difference between games like Metroid Prime and Doom and this game is that this game is awful and that all the guns are worthless. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I never actually played Metroid Prime. So, uh, I'm only going on Doom. Right, Doom. You're, you only play the classics, like Shell Shock fucking 2. Oh yeah, I played Shell Shock. Yeah, come on, man, we're living in a new age here. Old school nonsense is a waste of time. So this area, I uh, you see me turn around a lot, which yeah. which I know uh, you know really pads out the length of the video a bit. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because Rebellion just loves to be dicks, loves to put dozens of enemies behind you at any given point in time. Like right now, see, I look down for one second, and of course Rebellion chooses that one second in time. To have a zombie attack me. Defend I think taking that. zombie attacks a little personally. Defend that. No, defend that. I want to hear you defend Def that. Def defend zombies spawning in behind you. If they're yeah. spawning in front of you, you'll fucking see them coming. It would ruin the suspense. Yeah, but every time I turn around, like every time I take like 20 steps, I have to worry about another zombie behind me. Well, if they just rush in from in front of you, you could just sit in one place and shoot them as they came to you. And then if they're combined, rushing, it would, still be, it would still be scary if they all started rushing me at the same time. Uh, yeah, but there's like 
technical limitations of the shit. Kind of hundred zombies rush you all from the front. So I try to avoid these enemies because I've tried to conserve my ammunition because there are some times where Rebellion will give you just boatloads of ammo and uh, it can be easy as can be, but then there are other times where it'll shortchange you for half the level and just expect you to get on without it. So, uh, yeah. you know, avoiding conflict whenever possible is uh, ideal. But of course, if you try to avoid conflict, you just stick another one right behind you. Because it's, that's Rebellion. They, they're still stuck in 1994 when they developed the original Alien vs. Predator for the Atari Jaguar, and every enemy came from behind you. Well, so, it's, it's, it's coaching commentary. It's coaching commentary on how currently soldiers in other parts of the world are undersupplied at times, and then suddenly everyone starts paying interest, they get drowned in stuff that's useless. So, anyway, here's our music number for the episode. Because, uh, you know, it's uh, Rebellion, so it's Shell Shock 2, so, you know, you have to hold this location for whatever inane, arbitrary reason. What, what is this? It's, it's funny. It's, it's, it's not... It's the music that doesn't fit the episode. That's ah. a joke. Oh, one of them jokes I've been hearing so much about. And, see, I, I, I never saw that coming. But you did it. And, you know, all the other episodes, is it? There's the there's the letter boxes, you know, because uh, we needed uh, wait, where's the letter boxes now though? I missed them. How was I supposed to know it was an in-game cutscene? How was I supposed to know I can control that sequence? There's no letter boxes. Come on, rebellion. Be a bit more consistent, why don't you? Uh, I yeah, I can't really explain that one. Maybe it's a computer. Maybe you get a shout out. Maybe your monitor's the wrong size. That's your problem. My problem? Well, obviously it's your problem. It's not my problem. Well, it's not my problem. My problem is your problem. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, but you, you've already got the game. It's not my problem anymore. Well, uh, I didn't want the game. Equipment. I didn't want the game. This came in the Steam pack. This came with the, the rest of the game. in Steam holiday sales, so... Okay, we... You didn't have to play it on the ad for a moment, did you? Well, I mean, I paid for it. I paid a minuscule amount for it, so I figured I might as well get more for money. See, if you if you put any any forethought into your acquisition of this game, you could have prepared that for it. But the monster is up to rebellion's high standards. There's still okay. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, that's it. You should you talk about jokes before you have to do one. <laughs> yeah, but I I pride myself on my sterling sense of humor, but. This is kind of, this is beyond a joke. You are not giving them a fair shake of loss now. Well, I, I should point out that uh, this sequence, like so many others, uh, isn't time-based. It's based on uh, kills. So you have to literally kill every last enemy that does in the first dance. This is why I point yeah. that out. You know, and quality game design. element of uncertainty from the exercise, then. <sighs> means you can't just run in circles like a coward. Well, that's what you have to do. You have to just keep on going around in circles, otherwise the zombies will come from one of the areas and come from behind you. So you have to just circle straight around the tower. So yeah, you All do right. have to run around, otherwise you die. You go there, and they have to shoot people while you're doing it. Better than just running in a circle. It's a first-person shoot. The whole premise of the game is to shoot people. You're objecting to have to shoot too many people. I'm objecting to have to shoot too many people on a consistent basis. There should be times I'm going to fight or flight, fight or flight. You know, do I, do I want to kill these people? No, I don't. I just want to get to the goddamn end of the level, get on to the next one. I don't want to have to kill a hundred enemies before I can advance. It should be more difficult if you don't kill the enemies, but you should still have the option of not having to kill the enemies. And I don't get why you're, why you're like you're like saying, you know, uh, oh, it's certainty and shit. I don't, I don't get that argument. I just don't get it. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, if you play an FPS, FPS games, there's really no space for a pacifist dance, is there? I was like, getting shit back to Vietnam, but like, oh, I don't want to kill anyone. Well, you clearly have never played to... UX. I mean, you're too busy spoiling yourself with sh this fucking shit, you know, in Soul Shock 2, so you never played like, UX, you never played Metroid Prime, so. Well, I don't really, I don't really know what you could say about, uh, I don't know really uh, how credible you are saying well, uh, how the FPS genre goes, and if I can't do a pacifist. Thing. What, what I'm saying is, I've, I've obviously got the right idea about the FPS genre, one you're not picking up on. 
Well, I'm saying you're not. Yeah, you can you can say that all you like, but it's it's not going to make you right. Look at our AI teammates. Okay, okay. How do you feel with the AI, our teammate AI? Are you, you going to say that it's a good thing that they all just, just die whenever that they take like two hits to get killed? Well, yeah, because I'm pretty sure if they didn't die instantly, then you get hundreds of people bitching about how the AI does all the heavy lifting for you. All right, because that's been such a massive complaint in the history of FPS. The, the history of FPS, which you know so much about. Well, it hasn't because they've been deliberately gimping the fucking ally AI, so that doesn't happen. See, that's the problem. Well, everyone inclined to play FPS games, they, on the whole, they're just whiny bitches looking for something to complain about. And those clips, by the way, also reload shotguns. You know, so, uh... Ha, yeah, how's that factor into the realism? How's that okay, factor um, into the authenticity, if you will? <laughs> if I may use a word. You, you've used many words, I don't see why you'd stop now. Um, it's a matter of convenience. It's, great, it's gameplay streamlining. No one wants to be running out of ammo because you're finding all the wrong kinds of guns. Well then, why give, why put the clip things in? You can just give me the boxes, and I'll be none the wiser. And if there's like reasonable doubt there that you know that box could contain shotgun shells, or it could contain machine gun shells. Um, because putting it in clips, it adds to the authenticity, as you said. No, yeah, no one was, you're going around in circles. There's a circular argument. No one was running around fucking Vietnam carrying boxes of ammo. They were carrying clips. Anyway, uh, before we get back to our little fucking pissing mess here, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this I like, point out, Griffin, that was Griffin that attacked us right there. Uh, yeah, this like pointed it out because he's chasing throughout this level. And, uh, and now we're back to fighting the Viet Cong because there's no transitioning between this game. There's only two enemy types, and those would be the Viet Cong and the zombies. So when they uh, get tired of tossing zombies at you, they'll just toss these guys at you. Breaks up the pace a bit. Oh, look, I, I, for, I neglected to mention the second female character in the game. Uh, there it is. There it was. Well, we can we can all enjoy that. All oh, right, yeah, we can really enjoy it. like that that, that uh, Hollywood starlet. You know, I just I can't tell you the amount of times I pause this game just to masturbate to how beautiful the character modeling is and how this quality rebellion is with a uh, poser. I imagine that's what they use. Might as well be using it. Well, exactly. I, I, you're, you're kind of arguing my side here. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> it doesn't count as sarcasm if you raise a legitimate point and go, oh, I was just being sarcastic. Uh, well, it is when my point is a legitimate one and you're just pulling the shit out your ass. I, I can't refute a point you just made perfectly well on your own, can I? I could just repeat your argument verbatim. I'd like to point, uh, point out here that uh, the little hole you dropped, you can't actually go to the other side right there. There's only one way out of here. And you're just not actually progressing through the level because you're just backtracking back to the beginning of the level. If that makes any sense. I mean, it doesn't uh, make any sense level design wise. But I don't know how to exp that This also makes it hard to explain because I don't know how to explain retarded level design. Uh, yeah. well, maybe you can do that. Maybe you can do that for me because you're, uh, you're such well, an you expert in it. I mean, you, you deal entirely in it. Yeah, uh, you're just a fan of it, so uh, go ahead. You want me to explain that? Yeah, take, take the wheel. Go ahead. Just, just steer this. Explain but, but, this. Explain the con. You, explain how you want me to insult the, the intelligence of our audience any more than you already have by explaining fucking backtracking. I want to insult you. You're just being, you're just being a dick here. You know, I tried to be fucking civil. I, you know, you're I said, trying to be fucking civil. Yeah, I, I tried to be fucking Christ. civil. I said, you know, you can join my commentary here. Let's let's not get too mad at each other. But you're just you're, just, you know, you're just taunting me here, and you're just trying to uh, you're just making these really shit arguments. Like I there, okay. No. How do you explain jumping? Why why don't I just jump across the bridge? Why don't I turn around and shoot Griffin? Why the hell did I have to jump down the bridge? Explain. Because he's already fought Griffin a bunch of times. Explain it without arguing with me. It, just explain it. Just explain it. I don't want to get into a fucking argument here. You're the one. Alright, here's, here's how it fucking goes down. Alright. Griffin is obviously fucking hardcore. Bullets are not slowing him down a whole lot. So, rather than try and get into some kind of punch up with him and probably get your shit torn off, jump off the bridge. Go a different way. Hopefully it will slow him down long. It'll slow him down long enough. He How will slow him down? He, he should be able to jump down. How can I survive but a zombie not? I don't. Well, he, he did. He didn't fucking jump down. Plan worked. No, I did jump down. He, why yeah, didn't Griffin he jump fucking down? didn't? I'm saying why didn't he fucking jump down? Maybe he didn't want to. Maybe zombies hate water. 
It's not, they don't Maybe. have the mental capacity to make decisions like that. They just follow the target until the target is dead. And then they can feast on the flesh. Well, then maybe he, she's that short of mental fucking capacity. He just saw a fucking uh, protagonist here vanish and went, Oh, protagonist gone. I'll fucking fuck off somewhere else. And then he walked past me. Yeah, you just have a fucking explanation for everything. You have an explanation for everything. That's what I fucking do. <laughs> 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 fucking buy me bro. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking America. I don't know what's going on. I don't fucking video games. Oh, I fucking hate the Viet Cong more than the Americans do, so I'm just gonna play a game where all you do is kill them. Ugh. What the fucking fan of this? I don't even give a shit about the gameplay, I just wanna kill fucking Viet Cong. That's why you love this game. Oh, I'm suffering so hard under my white man's burden and the crimes of my country that I'm uncomfortable with a game where you kill the Viet Cong. Well, thank God we're at the fucking end of this, I can't take much more of this shit. Uh, here's the ending fucking cutscene. Fucking brilliant, we're done, we're yeah, at it. It's another fucking, uh, Twist ending. It's another, uh, you know, just shock moment that accomplishes nothing. Oh, you get mad at twist endings. Now. Shit, do you, go, do you watch Fuck fucking? You. Do you watch fucking Hitchcock and go? Man, this sucks. There's always a fucking twist, 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 twist ending. Fuck off. Fuck, Fuck you. Off. Don't post my fucking thread again, faggot. <laughs> fucking stop me, man. Yeah, I fucking. Fuck. I'll fucking. Just fuck off. What you gonna do? Call slow beef. Slow beef. The big man's being mean to me. A fucking no one fucking likes you. <laughs> the only reason H bomb wants you posting this thread is because you're Brit. You got some Brit thing going on. Yeah, exactly. We're <laughs> we're, fu we're fucking good friends. We're brothers in the fucking province. Right. Oh, hey, it's not is funny. That some yeah, Brit brother thing is like you know, or like you actual. I don't think you are because I think he would have told me about that. Because I was <laughs> I was doing commentary with him long before you were being a dick in his thread. A dick in mine. <laughs> You mean you're you mean you were jumping ship on your fucking threads and letting them go, letting H bomb pick up the slack before okay, I even you know started. What? Fuck you, this is done. <laughs>